What's up everyone? Chris Chavez here with JoyStrike.com again. Now today we're going to be taking a look at um, one of the many Note apps on the market. This one's called Note Everything and it comes to you from Soft Experience. Now I'm a pretty big fan of Note apps because um, there's always just crazy stuff floating around in my head and when I'm doing stuff during the day I, uh, I'm very absent-minded so I have to jot down my thoughts like right away. Um, Note Everything is cool because it um, is a pretty full-featured note-taking app. Uh, you can set up reminders, you can take notes, of course, you can um, take voice notes, you can take picture notes, uh, just tons and tons of stuff, anything and everything for uh, just jotting down any quick ideas that you may have. So um, sit right there, I'm going to show you guys exactly what the app can do and what it looks like and stuff, so don't move. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Note Everything. Um, the first folder that it actually puts you into, and I actually like this app because um, it does organize your notes into folders, um, but this one is just going to display um, all of your notes. And then from here, you could actually add folders or notes accordingly. Um, if I go select folder, you can see here there's all the notes folders, um, recycle bin, and your root folder, which I don't really need to get into. Um, new note, if I click on new note, you can uh, enter in a text note. Hey, I love donuts. Um, and I actually adjusted the font. You may notice the font is pretty small, but um, that is one of the things you can adjust is the font size. I actually have really good eyes and I like it when my fonts are really, really small. Um, then there you can see there it's got the uh, text note that I just entered in. Let's try a few more of these. There's a paint note. If maybe you're not really too keen on typing and you're just like, hey, let me um, make a little note here. Hey, look, it's me. Hey guys. <laughs> I have like a little penguin hand or something, but um, that's that's there's that. There's a colors, clear, full screen, stroke width, um, a lot of different settings you can do to, to mess with the pen. Um, I think this would be kind of cool too. I have a little cousin and she likes to mess around with my phone a lot, so I think I would actually let her just make a bunch of little drawing notes and stuff. Um, once you're done, just go ahead and click the back screen and boom. Paint note. Uh, moving on to a couple of others. There's voice note. Press it to record. Hey guys. It's me. Hey man. Hey guys. Um, and we can um, stop recording. Oh, stop. And we will play it back. Hey guys. It's me. Hey man. Hey guys. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and save that as the voice note for this one. Uh, you could also enter in some text too. This is me being stupid, stupido. Um, and we can uh, exit out of there. So, boom, you got a voice note. Uh, you can title it and you can write some um, stuff, actually some text into that one as well too. So, really, really awesome. I like this a lot because there's just a hundred different ways to um, basically take down a note. You can take a note from a barcode. Um, this requires barcode scanner. Basically what that will allow you to do is you can type out a note and it'll turn it into a QR code and you can give someone that QR code. It looks like that, that weird little um, barcode there, the square one with all little dots in it. Um, kind of like a secret code. So if they had barcode scanner, they'd be able to scan it and they would be able to see your note. Um, also, you could do the same thing if you had barcode scanner, which is a separate app. Um, it does integrate into this app pretty nicely. A note from, note from Google Docs. This will also uh, put some notes from your Google Docs. This requires note everything in GDocs. Would you like to install it? Um, I won't really go into that now, but um, yeah, so I mean, you can see here, it's just, it's a really full featured uh, note taking app. Um, and I love how the developer is one of the few to actually use a lot of the high res icons. You can see here um, the search, the help, the all that stuff. It just looks so clear. 
Um, all the icons there and the icon on the home screen itself looks really, really awesome. And I think the developer is awesome because they were one of the few people to actually update that. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, some of the settings you can check out. Um, you can update or check for an update on this app. Uh, uh, set up your folder, your start screen, um, basically what you want your, um, once you open up, note everything, what you want the default screen to be when you open up the app, uh, appearance, the theme, text size, typeface, all that stuff, note preferences, setting up note editing and taking, um, some of the preference, LED, the notifications, so if you um, have a note, you can actually um, have it uh, like time note or something to remind you of when something's going to happen to you. So kind of like a little reminder thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's note everything. It's a great, great app. Um, there's lots of features. You can upgrade to Pro and get more options. You could um, integrate with another app, Barcode Scanner, and it also integrates with your Google Docs, which is really neat. So big ups on this app. I think they did a great job. That was Note Everything by Soft Experience. Um, another one of the many cool note-taking apps on the market. Um, the only thing I could really think of that it's lacking is, um, I guess, its own note syncing, I guess, its own um, pr pr proprietary note syncing thing. Um, it does allow you to use the um, Google Google Notes. Uh, anyways, it lets you use that whole thing, but um, I would like to see maybe something else or like its own little website or something that they can do that. But um, some of the other apps, I think they, they do that and it's kind of cool, but um, yeah, this app is no slouch. It's definitely uh, one of the better note-taking apps. I've been using it since um, day one on my G1, so um, I've gotten pretty used to it. I think it's really cool and it's free, so you guys can check it out. It's handy because it's got reminders and all that other stuff, so it's in the market. Go check it out. I'm Chris Chavez. This is joyshark.com. I will see you guys later.